writings of Jules Verne. This film is about a group of astronomers who decide to travel to the moon in a rocket. This rocket is launched into space with a circus cannon and by a bevy of female marines in short pants. It is not known as to what was in Melies's mind when he created the moon with a puzzled face. Was it a magician's way of scoffing at these so-called scientists? Anyway, this crazy projectile lands in the eye of the moon, the travelers tumble out, and the astronomers marvel at the sight of planet Earth as seen from the moon. He called these artificially arranged scenes as moving tableau. Charlie Chaplin called George Méliès the alchemist of light. But my all-time favorite film about a magician. Some of the tricks demonstrated in this film made in 1901 has no parallel even today. Wasn't that sheer magic? Well, if George Melies was responsible for the Tasmagoric story cinema, then across the Atlantic Ocean in New York City, a man called Edwin Porter was responsible for the first realistic narrative cinema. Porter began his career as a projectionist. And one day, he chanced upon a roll of 